Today is supposed to be our last day. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be because we should move into the van by the end of the day. Well, as I've heard some people say, even when you move into the van, you're never done. Right, right. You break down. Kind of the like, last kind of, day. Like, when you, like if you move into a house. It's no, not I like know. You have I to know, I know. But this is the last day we're working on it before we live in it. Yeah, I say for excuses. Um, so the last big project we have is our propane box. Yeah. And we just put a hole in the van. Woo! This is the box itself. This is box number two. We made one too big the first time. Yeah, I'm pretty proud. We did have one mishap when we started drilling. Uh, which we drilled back here and we hit uh, a factory floor bracket, which is a solid piece of metal. So we could not get through that. We got a new spot. Yeah. You see our holes. <laughs> Okay, right, so we've been a little shy talking about propane because technically you're not supposed to have propane indoors with you ever. Uh, which... And anywhere you go to try to get propane equipment will tell you that and uh -huh. make you very nervous. Yeah, so uh, a few things to do to make it safe. One is uh, basically create your own little compartment. Here, it is airtight, caulked on the inside, and we'll be sealing that hole up there um, it is also vented out the bottom right here. Propane is heavier than air, so everything, any propane, if it does build up in there, should travel out and down the hole. The reason that's so important, as you probably know, uh, propane is flammable and explosive in high doses, <laughs> so it's very good that it doesn't gather inside of your van, especially when you're cooking. The other thing that I was really happy we did is we found this online. This wee guy right here is a propane detector as well as a carbon monoxide detector. That is really going the extra step, I think. It's also just to make sure, basically to check myself because while I'm building this whole box, it's also me that's doing it, not necessarily a professional. Hey, I did it too. <laughs> Us that's building a box, that instills any more confidence in you. But um, and we're not professionals in this. I mean, while I feel very confident in this box's ability to keep propane in and having it exit the van that little detector right over there just makes me feel a whole lot better in case anything does go wrong the other thing that we decided to do is get a valve a solenoid electronic valve for the propane this allows us to turn it on and off from a little button that is just above the fridge that's that guy right there the reason that is so nice is that way that this the tube that is going to our oven it's not always energized with propane. I'm keeping the cab safe and pretty much keeping the only line that will be energized with propane in the sealed box. We'll add some links to below to what we bought, what we bought the things how we did it. Uh, if you have any questions on how we did it too, let us know. We basically just researched online. Uh, I talked to some people that worked with propane. And we watched a lot of other people's videos of building oh, yeah. propane boxes. This is not our original idea. Lots of people do it. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty straightforward way to keep your propane in the van if you don't want to make your tank outside the van or on the back of it. Yeah, they, that, that said, I think the ultimate, the best thing to do would be just getting an undermounted tank or having enough battery storage that you don't have to use propane at all. But propane is a lot cheaper than Electron and Battleborn batteries. <laughs> and it also, it as far as its capacity to cook, or I guess capacity to heat, and it's actually the energy is stored within it, Propane is exceptional. I mean, we have an oven and a three stove burner and we're thinking about getting an instant little hot water here so we can have a shower out the back. And all that would just be extraordinary to run on batteries, but one propane tank can do it. So it's kind of a win-win. First time, first time making the bed. Thank you. It's super light. Hold on. Chilly, like the coldest night that we've had in months, of yeah. course. But 
being able to remove the couch is so nice. So Alec nice. Wanna, Alec doesn't want to screw the couches down. I want a Velcro. <laughs> Bye, there. mattress. There they are. Mattress and box spring mm -hmm. leaving. Took us like five different places to try to donate that. <laughs> Nowhere to sleep, but right in here. Okay, so here is the stuff that we want to put in the van. I think that's it. Yeah? I know, it's not, there's, there's a few things on the chopping block too, like we don't need this high surf sign, but it would be cool if we could find a place to put it somewhere in the van. <laughs> Let's find out. 